So, you know the story of Sisyphus where this one king is condemned to spend the rest of eternity pushing a giant rock up and down, up and down a hill? Yeah, that's us right now. I mean, how many times do we have to watch female characters falling off of something and then being caught by a guy for them to realize that this is becoming a punishment, not a treat? And we didn't even do anything to deserve his punishment, for Greek's sake. Anyway, the legend of Xiao Chuo. As in 99% of dramas these days, it opens with a female voice telling us what's going on and giving us a hint whether we should keep our hand on that forward button. And it looks like you should in this case. So, the female lead, who is a princess uh, at the time the story begins, explains the history of her tribe, her desire to be the equal of men, and her eternal love for horses or whatever. And then we're taken to a scene of her battling a wrestler who is three times bigger than her and wins, because how could she not? <laughs> And then Tiffany Young just does that little manly walk of hers that's already proven to be a failure in Princess Wei Young. Uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe we should leave this kind of thing to Sun Drama next time. So after that, we're taken away from the Green Meadows and get to know the guy who, I guess, is the male lead of this drama, and one of the reasons why Princess Agents got an ending no one understood. He's kind of a captain here, and in this first scene, he walks around overseeing the training of his subordinates and being like, well, that's right, Disney, I am the Captain Li Shang you could have had. No offense to Hong Kui though, he's actually the least problematic thing about that movie. But anyway, the male lead here is introduced to be very good with horses. On the same day, he acquires a beautiful new horse who is barely tamed. Now right after that, he receives kind of a letter from his friend from afar, which somehow renders this reaction. You know, the content aside, I have every reason to believe that was a love letter, okay? Anyway, he decides to make a trip to see this friend. But during this trip, he has the misfortune of running into the princess. She immediately realizes the value of his horse and decides to make a scene and then force him to give up the horse to her. This is my first time I bought it. If you get the I don't care. I'll give you the Um, no, that was not cute. Now, when she gets on the horse's back, it goes berserk, of course, because it's still mostly unbroken. And then it starts to cause chaos everywhere, charging into an execution site that's apparently unguarded. You just know that a scene is questionable when even the main character struggles to decide which emotion to convey, you know what I mean? I mean, she's like, what, um, what am I doing here? I thought I signed up for smart and responsible. Is this, is this the love and destiny script? And then, of course, we have this. Although, to be fair, I think the horse enjoyed that, because after the whole falling and catching thing, it just kind of agrees to let the princess ride on his back without any more protest. So, okay. So anyway, the male lead goes on with his trip to a friend's manor, which brings us to the lead couple of this drama. And let me tell you, this thing lasts for 11 whole seconds. Well, if only these two had the same chemistry. And you know what, I just have one request regarding this bromance, okay? Please don't let them fall for the same girl. 